hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you liked the video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair accuse is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so my day ones twos and threes y'all already know i'm about to go in on you know nancy grace again this is another person that's out here running her lips being an opportunist just like the fake a secret um you know psychic lady <laughs> just like the fake psychic okay this is another one that's an opportunist y'all okay and every single time you know people of color you know come out and everybody start talking about some a situation that's going on and this and that and this here she go with her little chart talking about this is about to happen and this is about to happen and that is about to happen and that is about to happen but um do y'all remember when she called herself was covering the Kanika Jenkins case? She did the same thing. Like, oh, they about to reopen a case. They about to do this. They about to do that. And she had a little chart and she did this and she did that. And nothing happened, y'all. Nothing happened. She jumps on the bandwagon every single time just to laugh. And it, it's sad because she's, you know, she was a lawyer and everything. And she jumps on here and she lies through her teeth. And a lot of people of color, they bites every single time. They bites. She throw that little rail out there, put that worm on there, and they start biting. And everybody starts saying, oh, Nancy Grace, she just jumped on the, you know, the case. And the case is going to get, is, is, this is going to happen with Puffy. And this is going to happen with Puffy. And that, and that, and that. Um, I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. Before people pump up their own people, they pump up somebody. And if you're going to pump up somebody that's of another race, I don't care about pumping up somebody of another race. But let them be accurate. Let them be legit. She's not, y'all. She's not. She lied to people just to get the juices flowing because she know that black people be wanting some kind of justice for something sometimes. And she jumps on that bandwagon when she know ain't nothing is going to be solved or anything like that. They never did reopen Kanika Jenkins' case. She said it was going to be reopened. All of this stuff, nothing was ever done. It was brushed under the rug. And everybody just acted as if, you know, that went away and it never happened. She do this all the time. So just because she jump on a case doesn't mean, oh, this is going to Puffy going down now because Nancy Grace said it. No, y'all. It just means she's an opportunist just like the fake psychic. Okay, y'all? They like to jump on people of color stories and lie to the people. Okay? They ain't no different than these politicians. Okay, y'all? This is her chart right here that she put up. Never mind, two of the people that's on this chart have already been dropped out of the case. Okay, y'all? This lady is an opportunist, and I don't know why I have to say this over and over and over again for our people to um to catch on every time, y'all. Every time. And I, I don't I don't understand it. Do people not do their homework on her? Do they not? Because a lot of stuff that she be talking about never comes, I'm just saying, it never happens. Every time she say something. For her even jumping on here, it made me think, uh-oh, Puffy about to get away with it now, y'all. That's what made me think. that I'm telling you, I, got the, I get the total opposite when she pops on a case. Then other people that say, oh, oh, now that she's on here, it's about to go down. No, it's not. Not if she got anything to do with it. I'm just being completely honest, y'all. Go back to her history of all the lies that she liked to tell, especially people of color, and send them off and make them think, you know, get hope, they hopes up that something's going to be done. People lost so much sleep over Kanika Jenkins' case, y'all. So many people. Hours and hours and hours. Weeks and weeks and months. Okay, y'all? Africa, years. Okay? 
and she knew it. She knew it was so many people following that, and she jumped on there, and she lied through her teeth, y'all, and nothing was ever done. She claimed the case was being reopened. None of that happened. None of it. So please don't get sent off by this whole um, Nancy Grace about to be the savior. And, and she's the one that's going to bring the truth about what's going to happen to Puffy. If we got a way for her to bring the truth, then y'all get ready for Puffy to, to get off. Okay, y'all. Because it, I don't know why I have to say this over and over and over again. This one right here is not the one. Okay. Now, as far as Puffy... And him getting caught or even getting arrested or whatever is going down that's going to go down. Maybe his karma is it's just that time. His karma, his time is up and it's time for him to pay the piper. Okay? That could just be it. Because it's so much stuff that they have piling up on Puffy right now. And people talking about he's running around here acting like ain't, he, he not going to get charged. What would y'all do if y'all had, you know all this money that you done stole from people and blood money and this and that and that. What would y'all be doing if y'all thinking y'all about to face some time? Y'all will be out here trying to enjoy y'all best life too. Y'all will be running around all over the place trying to enjoy yourself. He probably getting his last parties off because in a minute he ain't going to be able to party. And the, it, it, the truth is the truth. You'll be out here trying to do whatever you can do it, it, before you get locked up, wouldn't you? And this is why he's probably popping around and acting as if. And I don't know if y'all been paying attention to him, but he's been popping up on some people that could be, you know, already have been questioned about him people. There's a lot of people that's being questioned right now that people don't even know about. Justin Bieber, all of these people allegedly are people that has been, you know, um, mingled and tingled by this man. So it's a lot of people that could have been already questioned. There's a video out now of him jumping out of the car, uh, you know, pulling up on Justin Bieber. Okay, y'all? And he's acting as if he's trying to talk him into, you know, telling the people what he wants him to tell the people, not what really happened to him. But this is bigger than him right now. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Um, let me see if I got the picture up, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all this. Pay attention to the fact that, um, let me see, can I find it? Pay attention. Let me see, can I find it? Because he, he called himself jumped out on Justin. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all this. Justin Bieber's father-in-law just did a video recently. He just did a video. And when he did the video, he was basically sending out subliminal messages is that Puffy was about to go down. Why do y'all think that Justin Bieber's, you know, father-in-law, his wife's father, would do a video and pretty much saying that it's over for Puffy? You know why? Because he knows that this man as well has um, did some stuff to Justin. And I do believe that Justin's father-in-law um, know that Justin been talking to somebody, y'all. Let me pull him up for y'all. Who are for the people who don't know who his father-in-law is? Um, he's a well-established actor. Haley's father. Um, S Stephen Baldwin. This is her father. Yeah. And um, let me pull this picture up. He has jumped on social media. And it, it, these guys are up there too. These are elites too. They up there. Seriously, they're up there. So they would know about if somebody's about to go down or not. And to be honest with y'all, Puffy's on his way up out of here. I'm telling y'all. He's on his way out. And it's not because, oh, she got her little timeline together and she about to tell it all. No, it's not because of that, y'all. So please don't fall for the okie doke because, you know, people are saying that, oh, she's on the cakes and this is about to go down. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. I see everybody promoting her. 
saying she's all out here and I didn't start it late today because you know I've been busy I've been kind of busy I threw up a couple videos earlier but I've been really really busy trying to get you know stuff situated as far as um this whole solar stuff that's supposed to take place Monday so um I've been trying to just make sure I'm prepared for whatever that may go down I'm gonna do some numbers on the solar um thing that's supposed to take place on April 8th as well I'm gonna do a little solar stuff on that as well the solar stuff I hope you all are not being like scared Lord, I know my subscribers are not scared about the solar stuff because you know it is what it is but um we're gonna go into that in another video if I don't finish this tonight because I'm kind of tired right now so I'll probably just get everything I'm gonna do for tomorrow for to do the solar video okay y'all and I'm gonna do the numbers on the solar because everybody is asking me to so I'm gonna go ahead and do it but yeah so we'll talk about that later but that's what I've been preparing for make sure I get gas and all of this other stuff for you know the generators and all of that stuff just in case okay just in case the powers go out or whatever because there's a lot going on Monday okay so we'll get into that but just get back to this um Justin Bieber's father-in-law just did a video and he was basically you know letting the cat out the bag that um it's over with for um Puffy and finally he was gonna get what was coming to him Okay, y'all, and what y'all think he was talking about? He know his son-in-law has been allegedly messed with by Puffy. Okay, and the daughter she been trying to um, you know, work with Justin Bieber because he got a lot going on with him, y'all. He do. He has a lot of demons, you know, at him. This is why he started messing with, you know, all the street pharmacy stuff and all of this stuff. Because of the, his past and what he had to deal with. with Not just Puffy, but his mama. Okay, y'all? Because she was out here smoking her kneecaps off, allegedly. Okay, y'all? So, this this kid has went through a lot. Ever since he signed with Usher. Okay, and I told y'all. I told y'all they pumping Usher up so Usher can fall with him. All of them are going to go down. And for him, this guy to get up there and start letting out some subliminals some about it. You know, as a rep, when people um, that's in the industry, do uh, you know those elites just up there and they start talking about somebody that been getting away with the stuff for a long, long time? When they start talking about some stuff, you know it's about to go down. Okay, I told y'all, as long as he was messing with people of color, it was okay. They let him get away with this stuff for years, even though it's been whispers of it going on all over the place for years. But then, when those whispers got louder and louder and louder, and it started getting to a point where the, the, it wasn't just people of color that he was, you know, mistreating, then that's when it, people started to step in. Okay, y'all? But um, just because this woman come forward and start pulling out her charts, don't think that, oh, she just know what she's talking about. I just didn't want y'all to be getting sent off, okay, by this one right here. Because she lies through her teeth. She is an opportunist. She jumps in on any uh, the bandwagon when the, when the blacks is all just. And, and, and it, it wouldn't be no social media. I'm telling y'all without the blacks right now. It wouldn't really be a lot of social media stuff. Not booming the way it is right now. Especially the, the black celebrities. They got so much going on with them. It wouldn't be so much traction on social media if it wasn't for all of the stuff that was going on with these blacks okay it wouldn't be like that and the ones that's covering it but it trips me out when somebody else of another race start covering stuff that you know some blacks just start pumping these people up as if they just know they know what they're talking about and they just jumping on the bandwagon, copying off of everything everybody else saying. And she put a little twist on it because she got a little legal background. So she put a little twist on it. That's all. But it never comes true, the stuff that she says. It doesn't, y'all. So I just want y'all to be aware of that because um, she did. She has done this before. I have followed this woman for a while. And I have seen that a lot of stuff that she said does not come true. Okay. 
So she kind of discouraged me a little bit when everybody started pumping her up, saying she's going to, she, when she get on the case, it's going down. You know, I was like, oh, Lord, Puffy about to get off, <laughs> y'all. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.